Hey. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. What well, Instagram? You always got to try to set it up afterwards. I know, right? <laughs> I was just doing that. I'm so excited to talk to you today because can you hear me I, okay like, in this or do I need, what's better? Oh no, I can hear you. <laughs> I'm super excited okay. to talk to you though because P Valley, this show is crazy and I can't wait to like get the inside scoop on everything about the show from from you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> And you're so great in it. Um, before we j jump into the craziness of the show, I guess I want to talk about like how you got involved um, in the audition process that went into the show. Mm -hmm. You know what? Our um, producer, Patrick Ian Polk, had sent me a text on Valentine's Day 2018. And he told me he was looking mm -hmm. for a Black girl that could do poll, act, um, and, and act and look, look maybe 25 to 28. And so I tried to send him my home girl. I was like, yeah, my girl <laughs> got this. Child, she got it. And so then um, I took a moment and I was like, well, I mean, you know, I'm taking acting classes with Tasha Smith and Richard Lawson. I mean, I could do it. Mm -hmm. And then he was just like, I mean, have your people, you know, send over um, your stuff. So I did that. And my people were like, we already tried, Brandy, and you don't fit any of the roles that they are currently trying to cast. So I was just like, OK. So I thought, you know what? It's because they can't see past this natural hair. Let me figure it out. So I hit my homegirl, Tia, up. And she's a hairstylist in Memphis. I was like, you know, T, I need a wig. So my girl out here, Sasha, my bestie, we had like a tape measure around my head. Like, this is how big my head is. You know, like, can you make me a wig? And so Tia shipped me the wig. And I did a photo shoot on credit. But you know, I had no money. And so I was like, <laughs> let, me, let me figure this out. Try to get this photo shoot and makeup done on credit with my makeup artist. And um, I sent the pictures in like three days after. They uh -huh. still didn't want to see me. They were like, no, ma'am. You know, we're wow. good on that. So that was February of 2018. Mm -hmm. Come like June, one of my close friends, Marlene, sends me the script. And she's like, you know, my sister's reading for some roles on this show that's coming up. And it's called P-Valley. And I'm like, man, that little stripper show. Like, I got an attitude about it now, right? Right. So I'm just like, I'm like, the little stripper show, girl, they don't want me. And she was like, no, like, I really think that, you know, you would fit this. She's a coach. You do that, you know, a PK. And I was like, they don't want me. She's like, well, then you just get a manager. And I said, well, yeah. And I said, well, let me try and see. So I tell Miss Debbie, who's my manager now, about it. And Miss Debbie's been asking me for dance videos. And I'm like, I ain't dancing no more. So I'm not trying to send you any dance footage. Then come to find out, I didn't know that it was for P Valley. So I hit Miss Debbie. I'm like, Miss Debbie, there's this um, audition. Have you heard of it? And she's like, yes, I've been trying to get your footage for it. I was like, for real? So I sent her everything. She pitched me like I was her child. Like she oh. had pictures of my father. She had dance footage of me like teaching um, Miss Tina Knowles at the BET experience. Like everything mm -hmm. that I had ever done, she made it make sense to why I should be Mercedes. And yes. I had an audition within 24 hours. So I, at that point, I'm like, well, I got a script, but I haven't read the script. So what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. So I just had enough time to do to know the lines. And then at three in the morning, I look and I'm like, wait, do I have to have a routine? Child. It said, come with a routine. I'm like, what am I going to do? It's 3 a.m. But so that just, should be easy for you, right? Because you're a choreographer. But my thing is, too, the choreographer, choreographer in me will overthink things. So I'm like, mm, okay, okay. I don't have time to overthink it at 3 a.m. And you got right. to be in this room at like 9 and you don't have a sitter. So you got to feed your mama, get her ready and sneak out the house. And try okay. to get this audition. So I mm -hmm. Googled myself in one of my hip hop and heels routines. Um, I'd done to Neo in the mirror. And mm -hmm. so it's called Mirror. So I Googled yeah. that and I was like, nobody's going to do a routine in a chair. You're going to think twerking. You're going to think all this stuff, but you are not going to think slow and sexy in a chair. That's right. what I'm going to do. So that routine got me my call back. And then wow. I gave them that little twerk after. <laughs> front hand <laughs> springs. I was doing, listen, I did a front hand spring and six inch stilettos at the call back. I wanted this job bad. And I might wow. drop that audition video one day. But yeah. I think you should because this story is unbelievable how you push through, you know, to make them see you. Like, I am Mercedes. I am this character. And they finally saw it. And now you're on a hit show. It's already been renewed for season two. Congratulations. Thank so, you. You know, what a big honor. And this is your, is, can we say this is like your first role? Your first, first leading role? role? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes, it is definitely mm -hmm. my first leading role, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm so honored and so grateful. Yeah. But yeah, I jumped into that character hard. Right, it, yes ma'am, you did, because <laughs> watching, I've been watching it and I'm just like, 
I can't even see the di like mercy you bring so much passion and so much fire mm -hmm. and that's what Mercedes is you know she's dynamic mm -hmm. as soon as she steps on the screen um what are what would you say are some of the qualities that you and her share you and Mercedes I, I assume you guys are a lot different because you're so warm and friendly like right off the bat <laughs> um, Mercedes is warm and friendly no she Mercedes. is but not right off the bat she's right. very intimidating you know and and that's yeah. part of her aura I think too mm -hmm. even when you want like you want to be her she's so she's so dynamic I love I love Mercedes I'm a Mercedes fan you know yes thank you yeah you know what we are very similar honestly um mm -hmm. I am very tell it like it is. I don't know why my camera don't try me Satan. Okay, I, just, <laughs> I am very tell it like it is. Um, and sometimes I can be too much for people and that's okay because that's just how I was raised. Um, I don't bite my tongue and I tell it like it is. So in that case, I'm very similar to Mercedes. Mm -hmm. I am very competitive when it comes to myself. Mm -hmm. um, so in the dancer in me with this, when this role came up, it was very important to me to try to do as much as I could because the dancer in me is like, You've been doing this your whole life. So you mean to tell me you can't climb a pole boo? You know what I mean? So that, <laughs> that is what I was saying to myself, mm -hmm. even though, you know, everyone else was like, Brandy, it's okay. We have these doubles for you. And I'm like, okay, I know that I can't do this trick. I can't do the ceiling. I can't do the head drop, but I can climb. And at one point they told me, they were like, you can't climb higher than, um, I can't remember what they said, six feet. I was like, man, please. Who? Six feet is nothing. I'm definitely climbing higher. So I snuck and did that in Mercedes' final dance. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was not supposed to climb. I snuck into Tyler Perry Studios because that's where um, our, our set is set up. Oh, there. lovely. So I snuck yes. in at like two or three in the morning and, and did all of the, the stunts that I wanted to do. And I snuck the video to my choreographer, Jamaica Craft. And she's like, wait, you can do this? And I'm like, yeah, so y'all gonna let me do it tomorrow? She's like, don't tell nobody. I'm like, okay. And so right before... <laughs> Right before they said action, I looked over at um, our amazing, um, our amazing, um, uh, oh, I'm, I'm freezing, our amazing um, cameraman, Dave. And I was like, Dave, I'm going to the top. Whatever you just saw me do in rehearsal is not what's going to happen. He was like, what do you Action. I just this girl in me, that's, that's really me. Um, the dance team coach, that is really me. I'm actually worse than Mercedes. <laughs> um, my girls will tell you that I am that coach that has been known to throw a shoe, throw a chair, whatever is clear closest to me. If these steps mm -hmm. are off, it's a problem. Yeah. And then we win. So I'm just like, like all of that in um, the scene of episode one, where it's just like, how y'all gonna lose the Chuck Lisa challenges? That's how I felt. I mean, mm -hmm. to the um, South Haven Sizzlers, that's how I truly felt with mm -hmm. my girls in competition. Like there is no losing. We're gonna right. win. We work hard for a reason. And yes, then the toxic relationship with my mom. Growing up, I definitely had a crazy relationship with mama. We mm -hmm. good now, but honey, it was not growing up. And right. um, she never had me twerking at the Waffle House or anything like that. But um, it, was, it was a very, very, very crazy relationship growing up yeah. with her. And then I'm a PK. So, and my dad is not anything like Patrice. Mm -hmm. um, but I was just that PK that, you know, he was very strict, um, which I appreciate now. Um, of certain things that I could not do and did not know about. Like, I didn't know about P-Valley till P-Valley happened, and that's actually a neighborhood in Memphis, or was mm -hmm. a neighborhood in Memphis. So things of, um, of that sort, I was very sheltered to. Yeah, and I actually heard, too, that um, you actually asked your dad for his blessing, and he said, yes, you yes. know, this is your destiny, this is your dream, so go for it. Absolutely. Were you worried at all about the perception of the show and stripper culture and anything like that? And uh, um, not once I finally got, like, when I finally read the script that was sent to me, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I don't care what people think. And then for me, it was more so just about what my daddy thought. I'm, I'm a daddy's girl. So I just wanted him to support me. And I never wanted him to feel like I came to L.A. and sold my soul mm -hmm. um, because he, he's raised me, you know, specifically, you know, to make sure that I'm respectful in certain things, certain jobs I take. And he too, you know, sees this and he's like, he's, he's like, Miss Mississippi, you know, she got to get out of this situation. And I'm like, wait, daddy, you really watch me. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. he, he understands the story and that it was deeper than just uh, a girl that's going to show her body on TV. Right. So daddy understood that and he saw the story of it and I was good. And I was like, honestly, no matter what anybody else thinks, I don't care if my daddy is on board with it, nobody else matters. Amen. That's yeah. 
that's the only way to do it, you know, and you're uh -huh. so great in this show. Thank I, you. It, you know, did you prepare at all? Like, had, did you go to any strip clubs or? Ooh, girl, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we had a good what, <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? Um, like, I don't, I don't know if that's something that you are accustomed to or like, did you go specifically for the show or what, what was, you know, what was that? I started going now before I'd been to my first actual my first strip club experience and he does not remember this is I'm sure he doesn't is Drake because I was Drake the opening act yeah I was the opening oh my act God. it was like 10 11 years ago and I was the mm -hmm. opening act on the tour we were all on the Little Wayne tour together and so um we all came through Memphis and we were stopping they were like we about to stop at the strip club and it was just so cool like it was just like it just is what it is and I'm like the strip club and the first thing I'm thinking we in Memphis my daddy and my brothers oh my gosh if they here <laughs> I'm at the strip club and you know what I mean like what are they gonna say what are they gonna think and and then I was still married at that time too so I'm just mm -hmm. like Ooh, what are people gonna think you know what I mean like I don't do strip clubs mm -hmm. child I had so much fun it was nothing like what I thought and so that was my first experience of realizing okay these um like Uncle Clifford says, you know, this warehouse of sin and all that. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. y'all tripping. People are having fun. I saw husbands and wives, boyfriend and girlfriend, like girlfriends in there having parties. Like it right. was really like just a different type of club. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I knew it was different. Yeah. So like then the negative I had some connotations exactly. just washed away. Washed yeah. Away. See, and, your first time at the strip Atlanta. club was with Drake. She a hood <laughs> yeah, celebrity, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you are a hood yeah, celebrity. <laughs> Look, and I didn't know the girls were teaching me. They was like, girl, you you, you gave all the money away? I was like, yeah. They were like, you're supposed to keep some of that. I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> next time, next time. Right, right. But, um, when I got the show, I did my research. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to almost every club in Atlanta. And at this point, my mind was very different. Mm -hmm. It was like, let me pay attention to the tricks. I remember one of the girls who's actually um, on our show, she plays Brazil, Chinette, and she's now since retired. I remember watching her and thinking, I remember actually looking at my producer when we went during Pete Valley filming um, the pilot. And I was like, I want her. Like, I want her to be my double at that time because I'm like, I, I, she was just so good and so strong and doing all these tricks. Mm -hmm. And then it worked out where she actually got a role. And I'm just, that's even better. I'm just so excited to see Chinette out there shining. But paying attention to the tricks, how, um, how they move in the club. Um, Jamaica book Spider for me, who is like the world renowned girl out here killing it in this world. Mm -hmm. And Spider took me to um, Crazy Girls in LA and walked me around how I did all the night and was just like, you know, this mm -hmm. guy right here, pay attention. She going to the wrong guy. Girl, she got the wrong outfit on the night. You know what I mean? Like just paying attention yeah. to the inside scoop that I don't pay attention to. And mm -hmm. she's like, look at them. Those two girls are fighting for the attention here. And I'm like, they do that? You know, I never knew so much that was happening behind the scenes. So I did a lot of research with that. And then becoming comfortable with my body, I've started wearing shorts to my acting class because I, I, I was very insecure about my legs because of stretch marks. And um, you, you look know, stunning like on that's camera. Normal. I'm a woman. Thank you. But I was stunning. very insecure about it before P-Valley. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so, I want to yeah, talk a little bit more about that, about how this show brought out your confidence because mm -hmm. You can't, you can't see, you know, if you're nervous about a scene or anything, none of that shows on camera at all. You look like you own it each and every time. Thank and you. do you think Mer like playing Mercedes has helped you with your Absolutely. confidence? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and I already have a company called Hip Hop and Heels. So in that, that aspect, I was teaching women about confidence too. So I would mm -hmm. say to them, confidence is sexy, not your dress size. And I would have women of all sizes, shapes. And I would ask myself too, like, okay, now, you know, you gotta preach to yourself, honey, because you're telling this woman who may be 250, 300 pounds that she's beautiful and she is. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're looking at yourself and not thinking is beautiful? Because you can motivate these women, but why can't you motivate yourself? So I started there too, with just, you know, wearing shorts and doing different things. Um, in class, I would make it, you know, shorts and t-shirt day, not for them, but even for my own confidence to mm -hmm. build it up. Um, and then when you got when I got Mercedes, I was like, there's no room for the insecurity. And my mentor, Robbie Reed, she sent me to Burke Williams. And she was just like, you need to go to Burke Williams. And have you ever been to a spot? I just walked around naked. And I was like, you know what? Usually I, I cover up. 
You know what yeah. I mean? Like we may we may dip in and out, but we always have those <laughs> robes somewhere close to cover back up. Mm -hmm. And so this time I was like, I'm gonna let it go. I was brushing my teeth, nude, like just like in and I'm just like in my mind, I'm gagging though. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I? And people were just chilling. I'm like, ain't nobody looking at you, girl, nobody thinking about you. It is what it is. Right. And so I, I I felt like that by the time we finished P Valley, child, you could probably keep, hardly keep any clothes on us because we were just so comfortable with yeah. our bodies. They were like, y'all know y'all cover up now. We're like, oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, so, you know, moving on to the conversation, yeah. it did make it a lot more comfortable. That's awesome. That's so great to hear. And and you really are inspiring so many different Thank women. You. Like, uh, when we watch the show, and like, look how sexy they are. Look how confident Thank they you. are. Like, I want to feel that way too. What is the, what is the vibe on set with all of you? Because it's a very intense show. Um, you know, it, it's good. And you know what, that is, is really, um, most of that comes from a lot of females on set, honestly, mm -hmm. because, you know, I mean, we got to, we got to build each other up, you know, if yes. you're having that day where you're like, I'm feeling bloated, it's just like, girl, you look good. And I'm gonna watch you on camera. And I tell you when to suck in and when not to, you know what I mean? That, I love that, that. Sisterhood yes. moment of it, or like, like I'll sneak a picture or somebody sneak a picture be like, this is what you look like. I'm like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Ooh, they got me right there. Okay, all right, let me pull up. Or you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like you, it's just the sisterhood of it. So, and it felt good with our directors too, because like Karina Evans told me when she was filming, um, directing for us episode one, you know, mm -hmm. I'll never shoot you like I wouldn't shoot myself. And, and, then, and then flat out, I'm never going to shoot your crotch. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. little things that we might have been concerned about when it came to a male director or the male gaze, we weren't right. worried about on this set because we had our sisters having our back from, you know, the first AD to a director. We were good. Yes, more and, women and the on guys set. Weren't creeps. More women on set. The guys weren't creeps because mm -hmm. if there was ever a moment where you felt like, okay, he looking a little too hard. After lunch, we didn't see him anymore. Like he was gone. So they might I be love scary. that. It was a, a no, a zero tolerance policy of any foolishness on the set. Mm -hmm. And that's that's so great to hear, you know, especially in these times and in Hollywood and everything that's going through changes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So just to hear that camaraderie on a set right. of a show like this, where it is going to be nudity and things like that, that's mm -hmm. super encouraging and super wonderful yeah. for all of the actors out there to hear. So that is yeah. so great. Um, so I want to jump a little bit into the show. I don't, I know you can't okay. give anything away, but <laughs> last time we saw, you know, you had just been bailed out of jail and you and your mom, you said she was dead to you, done. Do you Ooh. really, do you really think Mercedes and her mom can come back from her stealing her 20 grand? I, I don't think they can. Y'all don't have to keep right. watching right now. Right now, it's not looking too good for me. <laughs> like, like yeah. that was her soul, and mm -hmm. it's 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 so much deeper. It wasn't just a gem; it right. was a a future for her mm -hmm. daughter. So that's you just you just took away a possible opportunity for Mercedes to get her child back. Mm -hmm. Like, are you kidding me? I cannot forgive you for that. So that is that is how she's feeling in this in this moment. Like. You didn't just mess it up for me. You messed it up for my future. You messed it up for my daughter. You messed it up for all of those other little girls that had something to look forward to. Mercedes mm -hmm. has just told them that they've got this new gym coming. Mm -hmm. And now you got to go back and tell these kids that this is not it. Like, right. uh-uh, no. Mm -mm. I, was, I was heartbroken. I was like, no, she did not. She did yeah. not do this after Ooh. all of that. And... And you and Autumn, uh, Autumn's character, they've been bumping right. heads, you know, since the beginning. And now it looks like they're going to be co-workers or some. Do you think there's like a future <laughs> friendship? Future you friendship keep thing? See, right, okay. right now, they're both doing what they got to do to mm -hmm. make it happen. But, yeah. but you got to gotta keep watching to see what happens there. Are, um, I, I can say that there are a lot of stories that are, are still to unfold and that are coming. And there are some alliances that will be broken. And there are mm -hmm. some alliances that will be formed. Alliances yeah. that will be broken. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it's not one between you and Uncle Clifford, because I love I love that dynamic. <laughs> I love that so much. And I it's so crazy because the show's going on right now, so there's not mm -hmm. too much that you can say. Um, uh, gosh, I <laughs> I want to. I feel like I want to throw like some predictions out there. Okay, I do have a question. Um, when the girls were trying to get bail money uh, yeah. from Mercedes and 
Gidget's like, she would do it for one of us. And then Autumn was like, do you really think she would do it? And she was like, man, no. Do you think she, I felt like she would have did it, but do you think she wouldn't have you done know it? What? I, you know what? When I, I saw that part too, I think that if, if it didn't mess up Mercedes coin with mm -hmm. getting her child and her gym, she would. But um, in, in this state, no, because every dime Mercedes needs. But so I think that's maybe what Gidget was getting at. Like, you know, no, no. But um, if Gidget were in, in jail, Mercedes is totally coming to get her. If Keyshawn is in jail, now I don't know that Mercedes would have went to go get Autumn. So thank you, Autumn. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know about that one either. <laughs> I don't know about that one. They yeah. didn't really know each other like that. Mm -hmm. But um, Keyshawn... Uncle Clifford, absolutely, you know what I mean? She would mm -hmm. do anything for Uncle Clifford, down to saying, I'll stay in jail. You know what I mean? Like, no, nah, don't don't put stacks on my bill. Go, you know, take care. Put every penny you got down on the pink. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like this show, it's the way it, even like the cinematography, the way it's shot, the language, it's all very, very, very poetic. And like, shouts mm -hmm. out to Victoria Hall, you know, for the writing. Yes. Um, and everything but also the music in p valley like is Woo! phenomenal like every <laughs> every scene just gets you gets you hype is there like a favorite episode yet is it to come that we haven't seen of yours or have you shot it already yeah you know five was my favorite episode okay. but the beginning of six that music and the way tasha hooked that up that's my favorite opening of mm -hmm. uh, of a uh, um a, 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 of an opening of Pea Valley period mm -hmm. for the whole season. Okay. I love how that opens. So I can't wait for y'all to see how that opens. Uh, I just, know. It, That's it's this just week, so blast and I love it too. <laughs> 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 I love so she killed that opening for the epi mm -hmm. um, episode six opening. I love that. Well, without saying too much, uh, is there is there anything that you maybe hope for Mercedes or that maybe down the line in season two that you wish could happen for her or maybe something that you see in her future, you know, maybe Ooh. a love interest or something. I, I do <laughs> see some things, but I can't say it because it may mess up what okay. is coming. Okay. But there are a lot of things. I, and I've heard all everybody, for some reason, everybody wants Mercedes with Maine. Um, so y'all got to keep watching with Maine, the across the street neighbor, the with ankle bracelet. Really? Yes. Listen, there is a whole thing right now. Wait, is that is I'm getting that's is Thomas, that the guy Thomas who Jones. gave her the necklace? No, that's Coach. Oh, they don't want to with Coach. No, they don't want to with Coach. A married man. Not oh, he's him. married. Oh, I yes. missed that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she was like, um, um, about your wife. You know. Oh, that's dad, right. Like, that's right. <laughs> uh -uh. Mercedes is not trying to be with a married man. Listen, yeah. she already been through some things. You got to keep watching. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> so trying to go down that road again. <laughs> yeah, I do. I really like um, Keyshawn and Diamond. I hope, I hope ah. something, something works out there. Keep watching. I, I, I love them together too. But keep watching. Yeah. <laughs> you never oh know. yeah, people are in the comments like Mercedes and Maine. So we're gonna ship it yeah. for now and see <laughs> and see how it goes. Maybe Coach will get a divorce and sweet Mercedes yeah. off off her feet. I don't. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Well, <laughs> you're not buying. <laughs> I'm not buying coach right now. You're mm -hmm. not with it. You're not with it. <laughs> so if you could give one piece of advice to all the actors out there, all the dancers out there who are just looking at you at inspiration, like, and want to do what you do, what would you tell them right now in this moment? Do the work, do the work. I think a lot of times as um, aspiring actors or whatever you may want to do, People see the, the the light and the shine after the fact, but they don't want to do the work to get there. And it is not easy. You know what I mean? Like I did the work. All of the actors on the show did the work as well. And get in a class. Get in a good class. Study, work hard, do your research. Get off of Instagram and get into a book. Get into, you know what I mean? Some of this work that's on the screen. Watch the shows that you want to be a part of, those types of shows know you know who's directing these things but just truly doing your research it's not just going to be handed to you and I think a lot of times people think that it's going to be an easy journey or just handed to you and it's not mm -hmm. thank you so You're that right. is so You're beautiful welcome. do the work people do the work, do the work. so Miss Brandy thank you so much thank it was you. such a pleasure talking to you me. today where can the people find you at yes I'm the real Brandy with two E's my mom was extra 
on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brandy Evans on um, Facebook. Y'all, please don't be trying to add my personal one, Brandy Shea, because people thought that was a um, fraudulent one. That's just my private one, y'all, for my family. <laughs> so, um, Brandy Evans. Now that you've said it, though, they're going to they're gonna try to add you. It, it's okay. They can't, they can't get in there. It's locked down. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Twitter, um, the real Brandy as well. And are you doing any classes or anything right now um, in COVID? Or can we look no, out for that I'm later? I don't know that I want to. I've retired my hip hop and heels for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll see when things come back, you know, how I'm feeling. But I'm enjoying this time with my mom, um, mm -hmm. being here with her and just enjoying the process of P-Valley every day mm -hmm. right now. Yes. And it's such a great show. Great cast. Thank so commendable. You. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank and you. I can't That's wait to see you. what's going to happen. You. Make yes. sure you guys get stars. If you don't already have it, I don't know mm -hmm. what you're doing with your life right it's um, like five dollars y'all stop playing they are running okay. a special five dollars mm -hmm. y'all for three months go to yep. stars binge p valley yeah and you know spam brandy in her comments about how much you love <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much thank and i'll you. talk to you soon okay talk to you soon thank you bye-bye thank you, bye -bye. Thank you. Where is the buzz? Where is the buzz? You said it was mine.